guys. So hopefully you've been keeping up with our content over the last few weeks about building a mission-driven brand and being very intentional with your company values. Um, but today's post is a little bit different. It's about building your CEO brand and being intentional with your personal purpose. So like it or not, you are the face of this company and team members, partners, investors, co-collaborators, even members of your community are looking to you to be the human representation of your brand. So it's e extremely important that you're intentional, not just about the reputation and the perception of this brand and yourself as the CEO, but also the purpose behind the work that you do and how personally connected you feel towards that. I can't stress this enough. Um, success does not equal a mission-fueled life. So if you're not being intentional about the way that your um, everyday work actually fuels your passion and the legacy that you wanna live behind, it's really easy to let that be led astray and to all of a sudden be making decisions about your business just based on the financial security and health of the business. Um, and that's great and all, but it really doesn't bode well for your own mission and values. So here's five habits to ensure that you're being intentional and focused on um, your personal purpose and how it relates to your brand. So the first uh, tip is to write a personal mission statement. And think of this as um, essentially being your, um, your personal motto. Right, so we know these in every different form when we're writing them for businesses. Some are more emotive and inspirational, almost like a rally cry for your movement, and some are more pragmatic definitions. But, um, but for a personal mission statement, the best way to um, think of this is to create something that speaks to what you believe or is most, most important to you. So an example of this might be something like, to be the best version of myself in order to have a maximum impact on others, right? Something that is, you know, granted a little bit more elusive, but might it rally you to wake up and do what you do every day. Number two is to create a personal brand affirmation. So this could be like your own personal manifesto. It's a reminder to stay focused on your mission and values. So what is going to rally you through those tough days? Um, these can be a series of I am statements or it can be one thing that is more personal to you and maybe speaks to the values and what you believe. So for example, it might be something like, I'm building a creative empire that inspires large and small businesses to affect positive change in the world and to hold themselves to a higher standard. Okay, that's just my manifesto, but you get where I'm going with this, right? Read it out loud every morning and be more intentional with who you are and how you wanna be known, right? Number three is to know your own personal core values. So these are the pillars that are driving your every move. They underscore every decision and action that you make as a person, manager, boss, husband, wife, Instead of laundry listing these things out, every aspirational um, value that you can think of, I recommend a less is more approach, right? So examples might be no ego trips or work and play holds equal value or being open to change, whatever that looks like for you. Again, like these should be things that tell you about how you want to live your life. Vision. So number four is to create a mock cover of either Fast Company or People Magazine or maybe the Wall Street Journal or whatever your you know whatever floats your fancy. Um, but what would the headline say? Describe the picture as it's shown. Is it maybe a picture of you? Is it a picture of you and your team? Is it a picture of you and your family? Like, what does this look like? What what is the vision of what you want to be in the future? What does future you look like? Right, so this will um, essentially uh, help you to connect with what you want your legacy to be. And the more that you can make intentional decisions and habits to help you get there, the better off you're going to be. 
And number five is to create a personal mood board. Some might call these vision boards. Obviously in branding, we call them mood boards. So it's a way to, to connect the visual context with the more emotive side of what you're, what you're going for and what you want. So think of this as both a, a, a mood board for the things you want in your life. So it could be personal luxuries like the house you wanna live in and decor that you'd like to see and you know specific kitchenware that you want or what, whatever, whatever and honestly helps you connect to that lifestyle. Um, places you wanna travel to, things you want for your family, et cetera, as well as maybe what you want your work life to look like. How do you wanna show up to the office every day? What kind of culture do you wanna develop? So it, I think, I find that this just helps you again to connect with that uh, more emotional, more visceral side of how you want things to feel. And it's no real secret here that this will just help you to make better, more informed decisions in everything that you do, because it will essentially be about, does this help me get closer to this mission, this vision, this legacy, et cetera. And if not, then it really doesn't need a lot of your time. So I hope this helps guys. Please uh, drop me a note or send me an email and let me know if this was a helpful exercise for you.